Ka Kalifa amesema tukuje tu tumpe good good. Ni good good gani unataka kani? <laughs> kuna 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 dema meo am tree. <laughs> Ni mwanafa. <laughs> Ako kademu kali wa mtri, sijui shida kilikuwa nini. Yani kuni, sina ubaya. <laughs> This is BDJ Khalifa. Hmm? Ame spin paka mwenye ya kajipa joto, akanza kubuwa nguo. As you can see, he has a very expensive shirt. Yeah, let's just take a minute and see how handsome he is. Mbaka unanzo kutuatua viazi, daddy, in this place. Stack, 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 viazi, stack, viazi. Wacha ni meinivi mskini. Mwajwa si watu wa skinny, we know what we are. It's true, ni meskini ni dawa ya balloon. Unapenda, eh, eh, okay. Meanwhile, as you can see, we have a very beautiful guest on set as we are currently speaking but uh, hi kao metode to say good morning have uh, we are here rather to help you or facilitate you to have a good day my name is valentine or at color me val but i'm um, y254 on facebook at y254 channel twitter hashtag is social friday or why in the morning or 20154 is the text line start with y254 hi queen Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. He has jokes sometimes, so don't take him too seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Salimia mgeni. Mambo msupa. Mbwa sana nilikuwa na yao na vile unafanya how you're mixing, trying to learn. You're trying to learn. Eh, from watching. Okay. I'm a teacher. Sawa. You're a teacher. Umesikei song in my pipe, in it was teaser. When do you are? Where, 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 when do you are? I'm that. Nime kuona. Nime go listen to the song, yes. So what is your good name? Mumbi Macharia. Yeah, and I'm a spoken word artist, creative writer, and performing artist. I cannot help but notice your name, the one that you've given us, rather. There's no English somebody there. Is that intentional? Yes, it is intentional. Because I like Mumbi Macharia. It's a very strong name. Kwanza it is. Mumbi, yeah, it uh, is. When your ancestors actually. <laughs> exactly. Same <laughs> poor. <laughs> no, 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 kweli. Like when I saw me na sound vibe at when your ancestors. Ah, okay. Like when he. Let's let's try this again. Uh, her name has a very rich and deep meaning. Kwa. Yeah. Ukoye yeah. tu ya. Yeah, I get. Na get. Na get. Pia ni wako. <laughs> Would you like to tell us what it means? Uh, so Mumbi was the mother mm -hmm. of all Kikuyus. Well, the story goes that Guy created Mumbi and Gikuyu, mm -hmm. and then together they had nine daughters. Well, nine or ten. This, uh, yeah. And then when they were old enough to marry, um, Gikuyu prayed under a mugumo tree and then uh, made a sacrifice and then from the smoke came nine men mm -hmm. who married nine of their daughters. Mm -hmm. um, the youngest one who was Wamuyu was too young to marry at the time but she still went on to have kids. I am one of your daughters. I am a Wamboy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. That's why. All right. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Why spoken word? So I've been writing and performing spoken word poetry since uh, 2015. Um, I started in high school. I just always used to have a passion for writing and especially creative writing. Um, and creative writing that just sounds different. Because there's writing that's written to be read and then there's writing that's written to be performed. So I was always interested in uh, performance, so writing for performance. So that's how I got into spoken word poetry. Um, I actually got into it once uh, when I entered a competition, an inter-school competition for uh, original works, so like writing original works and then performing it at a... Um, a poetry competition and because at the time there wasn't really a lot of like knowledge on what exactly is spoken word it was poetry the traditional way we know poetry like it has stanzas, stanzas and, and the and rhymes and when i find it sweat <laughs> <laughs> no but the thing is i also <laughs> never actually studied poetry mm -hmm. in school but mm -hmm. i always used to love to write so i remember when i wrote my first poem mm -hmm. it didn't exactly look like how traditional poetry looks like like it didn't have stanzas like the rhymes were just everywhere mm -hmm. it just wasn't the way we know poetry so i remember when i submitted it for the competition mm -hmm. i was actually disqualified mm -hmm. because they said we don't know what this is it looks like a composition it's we don't know what this is but it's not poetry mm -hmm. so i was disqualified from that competition 
I have actually been following your career a little bit. Mm -hmm. and you say 2015, but I started seeing your presence in 2017. That's about two years later. Mm -hmm. That's when I started seeing you highlighting the screens on TV and all these other things. Now, mini Kiwa High School, creative writing. I don't know, this one was in group of schools, so the DJ Khalifa and I to Koivi currently. Maze, Aj, I don't understand. Be life safe. At least I end up a group of schools. Mind you, it's okay. Nisa, <laughs> all right. So at the time, we didn't really have a grasp on creative writing. Ilikuwa to composition, write a composition ending with, and and they lived happily ever after. Mm -hmm. Or or start with, and the sun was shining. It was raining heavily. Things like this. So where did you realize? Yani, where's it cheesy? Yes, you don't know what I'm doing, but Miss it cheesy. It took fifty years to wear. When did you? So it yeah, I mean, we used to write compositions like that, but then mine would just be so extra. Mm -hmm. Like I would put <laughs> rhymes in there. I like my teacher would be like, "Wow, okay, <laughs> see me." <laughs> <laughs> but it would sound nice. That's the thing. Uh -huh. And then because I used to write, and I'm like, okay, if I had to perform this, mm -hmm. how would it sound? Mm -hmm. So that's what I was always writing for. Mm -hmm. Until one day, my teacher was just like, "By the way, there's this comp uh, competition for original works, mm -hmm. like." you should try mm -hmm. and then so when I did that so I was disqualified from that competition because it wasn't poetry so they're like okay what you're writing it's not a composition and it's not poetry but it's there it's just there when I started off I'm a Toastmaster Toastmaster is basically mm, give or take a public speaker mm -hmm. so we have speeches Kuna speech one Baka, whichever, and then there are different manuals. So you do speech one, maybe to six, this manual, La Fona and Endeavor. My first ever speech was, it's called an icebreaker. So the point of the speech is you have to, people have to leave there knowing something about you. Mm -hmm. Just something. It doesn't have to be everything, but something. And when I delivered my speech, I went, I think, 10 seconds over. It's, they're very strict on time. Ten seconds, guys. Seconds. Yet I see gave me a ball at one minute, two minutes over time. Ten seconds, and I was f I was failed. My first. I know. <laughs> and it was it was it was history because akuna mtu ashai feliwa speech akia kwanza. Nani lichoka? I took a break for like a year, guys. A year. So you, how did you just continue? Like how did you? At you are disqualified because they don't understand. How did you, you know, not give up? Min ge give up. Okay, so for me, because I, I enjoyed doing it, so it wasn't like because I was disqualified, I would stop. I wasn't doing it specifically for that competition. It was just something I loved doing. So um, after I wrote that first piece, I remember then now I started performing in school, like in assembly and stuff. So I continued writing. Uh, well, at the time I didn't know it was poetry, but I continued writing mm -hmm. uh, spoken word. Um, and the reason you're saying that uh, you saw my presence in 2017, but I started in 2015, mm -hmm. was now by the time I was making the transition from this is something that I just do and I'm doing in school and for people who are close to me, mm -hmm. then now I found other shows and other platforms mm -hmm. where people were doing the same thing that I was doing. Mm -hmm. So I think I found like Kwani Open Mic in 2016, I found Pal in like also late 2016. I headlined Kwani now in 2017. So it was a journey before I actually found platforms where I could perform and before I actually found other people who are also doing the same thing that I was doing. We mentioned it was a KNT, Maze. The National Theatre is rich. It's, it's <laughs> if you have Ka Unaga form, Ka VDJ Khalifa Mesema Tulale, was to Silale, to Ndange to KNT, Pitaga to Apo. There's so much culture and it's so rich. It and is. you can see what the products are. Very nice. Amana Nagani, my friend, give us your thoughts, please. Hashtag is social Friday. So now I'm thinking every piece that you write has a different tone. Yeah. So call me jam kwa hii, ingine vyuta, tukono ske and love kidogo, ingine vyuta kome fry. I want you to demonstrate the difference between uh, the, the vibe mm -hmm. semi -evil. So gi maybe give me, it doesn't have to be very long, a few sentences, but I want to hear for myself, yeah. Um, okay, so I can start with, this is actually one of the first poems I wrote. 
Um, it's called The Greatest Story Never Told. So the story of Africa through the African's eyes is the greatest story never told. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how we went from copper, silver, and gold to poverty, hunger, and yankings out in the cold. See, Africa is the origin, the place where we have history that the rest of the world can try and imitate but could never recreate. So that's why they tried to feed us lies like the pyramids were built by aliens. Because the idea that an African mind could be so innovative to them is alien. They downplayed everything we own, took it, flipped it in, made it their own, made us crave their standard of beauty. You'll hear everything about their encounter with us, just not the cruelty. And now I hear someone say that, well, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have roads, we wouldn't have clothes, and we wouldn't have phones. But I pity you, if you think for one second, we couldn't have done any of that on our own. We have the skills of the black man in Africa who was wearing hides and skins. They told us we weren't civilized before they came, but we had emperors and kings. And I would like to believe that the African king still lives. I look at my African brothers and I say, you do not look like a Tom. And you sure as hell do not look like a John. And I do not look like a Lisa, but isn't that the type of name they'll want when I'm applying for a visa? Mm. They took away our names, put our pictures in museums and frames, made us forget that we are all the same, made us feel ashamed. Now they want fuller lips and bigger hips, profiting of our fame. They played us at our own game. Everything they put us down for, they would trade the world for. Africa is the future. Africa is the past. Africa is now. But when someone stands up to say, fight the power, we all say, how? So stop telling me to stop making a fuss. This is something we need to discuss. See, colonization was not African history. Colonization interrupted African history. Word to Mutabaruka. So go ahead. Tell an African queen her hair is too rough. Tell an African king his name is too tough. Enough is enough. And if I have offended, bring me before whoever you think is greater and tell them my name is Mumbi. It means creator. Mm. <laughs> That's exactly how I wanted you to feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we follow big something. We follow. 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 Anyway, we shall get to you shortly. Jana, I want to use it when I have a very heated debate. To just imagine some white man came and then started saying he discovered Mount Kenya. Okay, because ilikuwa wapi sit kuiangalia. Were we not here, the yeah. Africans? We we. Atuko tu naiona. Atuko tu najuni to mountain. Oh. <laughs> oh, saka kuja kaiona for the first time. Aka ambi to mountain. Eh? Nyumba una sema ata umku mna joke ni to mlima. <laughs> Na kitambo, si bado tutukua tunomba. Wa we not pray. Si tukua tunanil, tunafesi yo to mount, sijui nani. Eh? Who, who told him we, we are savages? Who to True. You see how I relate? Hmm? I feel you, I feel you. Okay, actually I'm born feeling you. <laughs> Tunafilia na hapa izi. <laughs> yes. I, I, once, I once watched a play called The Revolution Ate My Son. It was very deep. Miss kwa na imagine ta kwa kitu deep evo. But sasa, they asked us at the end, can you imagine being in exile? As in, sasa wewe kama kalifa, ume decide kuingia game kama Chris Darling, sasa umesimamia kiti. Lafu tuseme wewe upewe. After usha pewa, sasa umeanza kuongea sauti, sauti, sauti. Then suddenly they don't like what you're saying. So you run away and then you can't just come back home. Can you imagine? Kuna wacha ni imagine. Kuna haka clip flani, kuna umse, kuna ka MP, I think it's in Colombia. And I learned mongele Colombia. Maze! It's in Colombia. This MP, alivotiwa after five years, akarudi. Then waka mwanyesha bridge enya alitengeneza, which I can exist. Sasi wanakuja kumwanyesha kuja onai bridge. Wanakuja wanakuja kufika wapana pata kuna bridge. Waka msikuma kwa mto. Yeah, it is there. Sijika miyona, it's you guys. And in Mexico, they they didn't like the mayor, the mayor and his assistant. So wali ingia kwa ofisi yake wakambalisha as in dress dira. <laughs> like your pink, I love what I'm going to be tembe tembe. So maybe we should have an uprising also us. 
kama creatives pia, pia kuna kuna nyingine ya Africa i think it was mm. in Nigeria mm-hmm. kuna these MPs jo alifanya nini mm-hmm. then of a sudden kila mtu aka alita watu congress wakuja onge mm. sasa si watu wamekamu wakona ni yeye mm. wakatoka yuko yeah. kama kile jongelesha yeye <laughs> <laughs> na mabodi gani <laughs> so kumbe we have a voice <laughs> Okay there's another piece of yours that iliniguza siko anajua pia siko anajua ilikuwa deep for it's like unaingia swimming pool but ujui uko reverse so unajua unaenda shallow end kumbe unaingia deep <laughs> so yes kuna maji but unaenda kwa unaingia kwanza kabla kabla utoke it was a, yeah, i cannot recall the name but i do remember it's it's about suicide i mm. think yeah eh mazuri niguza yeah the, it's called live for me And then it's the one where you start where you sing. Why don't yeah. you sing? No, so that one it's my guitarist was singing. Oh. On that one, yeah. I really thought it was yours. Yeah, yeah no, not singing my also. singing is yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> you sound so nice <laughs> ukiongea so it begs I mean it's just I know I, I keep mathematic. I'm also still wondering. My own mathematic. Maybe the old ajishuku. I'm sure you have a lovely singing voice. But tell me the the inspiration behind that particular. Um so that piece it's called live for me and it's just dedicated to anyone going through um depression and um anyone contemplating suicide and so basically it's the saying live for me it's giving like reasons to live mm-hmm. um and also dedicated to people who've lost someone mm-hmm. um through suicide or through depression mm-hmm. um and it's just empowering people to be able to empower other people around them mm-hmm. who might be contemplating suicide or might be facing depression in any way Khalifa have you ever been depressed ama do you, have you ever known or met someone who is going through depression ni chako depressed kuna ile day ni matianga alisema watu wasilewe kwa club oh okay yake yake ni kazi kazi ndo ilifungwa oh imagine someone was paying rent with that money oh so sorry i'm your landlord unaanza story oh cheki buda kuna kitu naiva kozile za cheki kuna vile so na chekila tunaenda kazi oh. so acha tuna next week kazi za eh by the way Jane niambia acha tunikuamini oh. <laughs> but at least he, he came through okay hiyo depression yako ilikuwa ya one day but uli, ulikuwa okay after yeah, that after that maisha kuna kaungani kako na fish you're good <laughs> kuna meme fulani nimeona ati badla watu ku commit suicide ati either wa join jeshi ama waanze ku kukua street for somebody and they were kufa in the line of duty <laughs> that's a bit heartless yes but akuna point up like we i used to think and this is largely an african thing we used to think that mental health or or depression or things like these were is equal to za wazungu manze like at therapy za africa that does not make any sense tutafanya kazi ama tutaongea vitu ni mbili as in we, we did not really grasp that what one is a fanya kitu kayo yeah. and i like that spoken word in a to ni ka reggae na tufanya tukue conscious like well, reggae i know and nobody reggae. can stop reggae oh. so <laughs> even spoken word i don't think anyone can stop it yeah and that's what spoken word is mm-hmm. i think it's mm-hmm. just using words in a unique way mm-hmm. to pass a certain message mm-hmm. i like to think of spoken word as uh uh it's like speech and song mm-hmm. combined apokatikati now this spoken word mm-hmm. yeah it's only in kenya where you meet a very creative person alafu badla tukumwambia ah you're so creative good job unamwambia eh hey, wewe yo bangi unatafuna <laughs> hey <laughs> hey yo bangi ni mbaya ziko ni miwa sijui nini wa kenya why are we like this we can't just give a compliment yeah creative we can't have you ever had <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had people you know insinuating that you're under the influence while you're coming up with certain things? Uh not really but um for me when I'm on stage performing and like how I am like just normally I like two different people cuz so in my normal day to day life like um sina mambo mob you know but, yeah and metulia too but then when I get on stage <laughs> It's like I'm coming for everybody. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so I've gotten that before like 
Eh, hey, you before you in gear stage. Una pitia mali. Yeah, I've okay. gotten that before. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I not feel because even me I'm like that. The people who find me just keeping quiet, like, well, are you okay? Yeah, sometimes it's good to keep quiet so that you hear and learn. Yeah, true, true, yeah. true. California, Coconut Swally. I'm talking about it. 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 Ah, Z. After this, I'm spending drama. So, all this can give me a story in events. What are you doing? Together. Oh, events? No. No, to put on the Maudi wa. Maze, kwanza watu walikuwa napiga order za masimu. Nileteni uwa wei. Ama sijinini. Mae. I don't really hear of spoken word events to say maybe or jute mongele events unless it's somewhere in the national theatre. Kitambo kule kwa na have you ever performed at Phoenix? Yes, I have. Oh, I loved that. I loved it. It was so beautiful. Zia tilikuwa kitu kubwa, amazing, opera looking. It was small but very authentic. Like ni kwa naskia enyewe theatre lianzia uko. Yeah. Mhm mhm. Why are there no such events? Um, I think, first of all, it might have to do with the fact that there are no spaces. Mm. Well, there are, but there are few spaces where poets feel this is our space. Like, um, because I remember when I started organizing events a few years ago, mm -hmm. um, and say, like, maybe at restaurants or places you would go to host an event, you feel like this space was not created for me. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're going to put spoken word poetry, you're just trying to make it fit in a place where one, the audience um, does not want to listen to spoken word poetry because they don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Two, the venue itself or the space itself has not been curated for spoken word um, po poetry. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that is one of the reasons that discourages us mm -hmm. from wanting to put out more events. Mm -hmm. um, and then also, too, you always have to ask yourself, like, will people come even if I host the event? Mm -hmm. You know, like, will people really come? Mm -hmm. So there's so many discouraging factors. How do you live? Do you have like an, an, an eight to five? Um, so currently I am a bartender. Shut it, no. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Yeah. Where? <laughs> um, so I work at a Captain Stairs restaurant uh -huh. on Mombasa Road uh -huh. as a bartender, and I completed my law degree in May this year. Tende uko. Tende uko to support. Because I missed story, yeah. Ni Captain Stairs. Yeah. Ni ya, iyo raunda hapo. Opposite, uh, it's on Mombasa Road, like next to... Si. Yeah, yeah, the flyover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kapo. This is a club. 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 This a club. This is 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 a Fortunately, no. Fortunately, mm, it never <laughs> happen. It can happen. Okay. It can happen, and there's always that fear. I remember the first event I ever hosted was called Mindful. Mm -hmm. um, it was at Creatives Garage, and um, it was just a music mm -hmm. and poetry event. Mm -hmm. And I remember to break even, mm -hmm. uh, like to be able to pay the venue and the artists and to be able to incur all the costs, mm -hmm. I needed 35 people mm -hmm. to come and buy tickets at the gates. Um, so there was that fear of if 35 people don't come, I will have to incur the cost of everything. Mm -hmm. And I remember that day we had about like almost 80 people come for that first event. So yeah. <laughs> okay. There are questions coming in from the gallery, but uh, I'm also fearing that you could also send us some questions if you had any to ask the lovely Mumbi White Five on Facebook at White Five Four channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Social Friday. They are asking me, mm. hmm, not so low key. Now that you're a bartender, does your significant other 
comply with the terms and conditions? Is he okay with where you work and things like this? Uh, one, assuming there is a significant yeah. Yeah. Let's just go at this, <laughs> <laughs> assuming. Assuming there is one, mm -hmm. um, he would probably be a creative as well. And get the life. Yes, mm. yeah. So okay. it's important to be with someone who I think um, understands your line of work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I find opposites attract. I am creative too. So, eh, nkukaribu kuchoma. So the the others the opposite of creative ni not really dull but he's a bit more solid. He's into administrative things. Say like someone in the corporate world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with a still a little bit of flair somewhere. Mm -hmm. So he's not at all that point. She the public school. Kalifuta niambe for Juliana group of schools. My twist. It's okay. All right. So I want you to invoke another feeling for me. Just one more. Um, so this is a letter to the son I might have one day. So to the son I might have one day, you're not the first boy I've had to raise. You're not the first boy who I've had to teach right from wrong. You are not the first boy who I've had to teach how to approach a woman. See, my job is to ensure that before I send you out into this world that you are right within and that you know how to respect people from their head to their feet and everything in between. See, I will do my best to ensure that you never have to know the affliction of a cane. And I will try my best to ensure that you never see the color of your skin as a stain. And when you learn how to walk, may you walk with your mother's pride. May you step with her mother's stride. When you learn how to walk, may you learn how to go the extra mile. When you learn how to talk, may everything that comes out of your mouth be better than silence. May you learn how to hold back and swallow any rude comments, misogynistic jokes, lies. May they rot in your throat so that they never have to see the light of day. When you learn how to talk, may you learn how to ask questions. Like, does Lake Victoria ever want to be known by her African name? Does Lake Victoria ever want to pause and say she doesn't want to go into the Nile because that will mean leaving everything she has ever known or does Mount Kilimanjaro ever want to cross the border and come back home? And when you have your first crush, may you be wise enough to know that pulling a girl's hair or trying to fight her are not appropriate ways to tell a girl that you like her. But if you're lucky, maybe your mother will teach you her way with words. Maybe you will learn to lose yourself in the words you create on paper the same way she does. And when you grow up, May you never fall prisoner to the chains around your, around your neck in the name of flex. May other boys think they are kings until you come next. And if I have to promise you one thing, I promise you this, that every day I will take my pen and my paper and I will sketch you in all of my books and I will open them up to look at you whenever I forget how God looks. There are boy children who've been agreeing with her on the floor. I don't think you so. <laughs> yeah, Makoto. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm, na son vizuri. Sana. Mm, umebuza kalifa mali. Burei, buruei. Buruei. Makasa ina swing twin. Meshika yo. All right, so as we go, would you like to give us your social media handles, how we can keep up with you, to keep up to what we can acquire? Yeah, for sure. Um, on Instagram, at Mumbi Poets. Um, on Facebook, Mumbi Spoken Word. Um, on Twitter, Mumbi Said. Um, on M-Pesa. <laughs> I like you very much. Let's <laughs> give <laughs> Toa simu. Kuluka apa. Brade kuleta. Sina jam kaft. Ah. Nikafta makaft. Ni mpesa tu tuko tunataka. Si vitu zingine. Oh, kuko ni farm jina. Eh, yako. <laughs> Na siatu tu beten bob. <laughs> siatu tu beten bob. Tunacheze tu chini. Sawa. Tu tumwambia bye. Niko nataka kumwambia ni ya mwisho. Captain Tani. Captain Steras. Yeah. Yeah. Uni bewa matatu so tutakuja tena. <laughs> yeah.
All right. Thank you so very much for watching. We are coming right back with uh, Sir Aleki. And we have some social media things to read out. So please don't be left behind at White 5 on Facebook, at White 5 4 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Social Friday. And happy birthday, Michael Gitahi. Woo!